Dalam bahasa Indonesia About these words The lyrics are taken From A song The title is Geef mij maar nasi goreng It means Just give me Or give me only Nasi goreng Or fried rice From Witteke van Doort or Tante Lin. And this is part of it because the whole entire song is. I don't want to make a really long video, so yeah. This is part two. As you can see here, the words in red are in Dutch, and the black ones here are Indonesian or Dutch version of Indonesian because sometimes the way we pronounce and the way we write it is a bit different in Indonesian and yeah, let's just do it because we will learn Indonesian so focus on here, the purple one, and also the this one. In Dutch, geen. In Indonesian, is tidak ada. Ada is there is or there are. But tidak is no or not. It's mostly more into no. So you said the you write or you again say tidak no and then ada there is or there are to say no or nothing tidak ada and this one lontong lontong is Indonesian version of rice cake. It is different with topoki or Korean rice cake. The Indonesian version is you, you still can see and feel the rice there. It's not chewy, but it is rice but become together. Cake-ish. Lontong and then sate babi. Sate is satay or sate. Babi is pig. In Indonesian, whether you want to say it as pig as animal or as pork, you say it with babi. Sometimes you add the word daging, it means meat. If you say daging, it's kind of more into beef. But if you say daging and then babi, it means pork. Yeah, I don't write the daging here. Maybe I will just write the word below in the description box or comment that I will pin. And it also the same in Dutch. <laughs> now we also learn Dutch, it's okay. The pig itself is varken. And that's why you also say varken for pork when you want to say as varken satay. And in Indonesian is dan. Dan. It is interesting because the letters are the same with English one. It's just scrambled. But in English, it's and. And in Indonesian, it's done. And in Dutch, it is and. But the way you write it is different. And here, nothing. Tidak ada. 
Why I write tidak ada as no here because this is more into the translation of this Dutch word becomes this one and this one becomes this one but in Indonesian tidak ada tidak ada in two words and then this one tastes the rasa itself rasa we will practice our R it's not R but R my name is Ira it's not Ira but it is okay if you pronounce my name is Ira because there is that's, that's okay that's the best you can do I appreciate it it will be different if you call my name as Ira because come on I know you can pronounce the E why you pronounce it as Ira my name is Ira the way you pronounce it as Ira is a the R is uh -huh, the I uh -huh, yes yeah, so okay R rasa taste but in English tastes which is smoked in Dutch if you want to be exact in Indonesian or Bahasa Indonesia it is more into these three words and this one is a phrase because memiliki it means have or has and then the second word is rasa you want to say it has or it have taste to say it as tastes even though if it's like easy translation can be just this one rasa rasa itself is more into taste tastes or this one with the prefix ter but because of this word it has already the initial r we don't double the r letters that's why it sublim become terasa it's not terasa with two r but one r and this one also with the prefix ber but because the word itself is it has r it's not berasa but it's berasa the prefix itself is ber but the word itself is already rasa that's why berasa one word or terasa one word or memiliki rasa okay and here in english here in dutch here in indonesian is in two words di sini di sini two words some people might write this in one word but it is incorrect because the d itself it is a preposition it is the same way at or in or sometimes can be also as on the indonesian that's why some indonesian including myself i make mistake when i have to say in on or at because in indonesian it is d okay sini itself is come here come here here sini but if you d sini it means here okay or in english here and this one spicy or hot the indonesian in dutch well how to pronounce it the dutch version of indonesian is this one i don't know why this letter it becomes e or in english is i but in indonesian is e because the indonesian one is pedas 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 that's the formal one to write it and to pronounce it 
but the informal or slang or daily conversation sometimes we say it as pedas we replace this letter A or A in Indonesian with E pedas because back to the easier to pronounce it pedas you don't have to move your mouth or your tongue when you say pedas it's kind of the same pedas instead of pedas when you have to say A you have to open your mouth you have to do something with your tongue pedas that's why in daily conversation or slang is pedas but I don't know why in Dutch it becomes this one so yeah I just write it here because personally I also don't mention this as this one okay this one it's the same with this and this in Indonesian daily conversation or informal you don't write the some people might not write the e uh or a e or in English is E but in Indonesian is A because we pronounce it pronounce it as terasi terasi in Dutch itself it becomes terasi but in Indonesian is terasi terasi or terasi terasi of course in daily conversation or slang it becomes terasi because we don't have to say the E uh. terasi terasi Okay, and this is shrimp paste. And now this one, I don't even know how to explain it to you. You might want to Google it by yourself because it is translated as spiced toasted coconut. In Indonesian, it is serundeng, serundeng, or casual or informal daily conversation we don't pronounce the e uh, becomes because it becomes two syllables instead of three it is the same with this terasi it becomes trasi in this one serundeng it becomes serundeng two syllables instead of three serundeng it is kind of topping to be sprinkled on top of white rice or rice in Dutch, serundeng, serundeng. Okay, and now in Indonesian we have bandeng. You can just write it here. I don't have to explain it. And this one is the same with this, and this one is the same. And now tofu in Indonesian, tahu, tahu. There is interesting thing. This tahu as a word itself, it has two meanings. One of them is, of course, tofu, and the other one is as verb to say no, no. But we don't pronounce it as tahu. We write it as tahu, but in daily conversation, it becomes tahu. We don't pronounce the H or the H is a silent letter. Tau, tau. For food, tahu. But the way we write it, it is the same. Okay. And this one, petis. I write it here, shrimp paste. But it is different with this one. This one is a bit pink and purple and the taste is also this different and this one is the black one that's why I write it here black shrimp paste okay and this the Indonesian word the correct way to write it is like this and we pronounce it as kue kue as cookie and we have kue lapis and this one is the Dutch version of the Indonesian to say kue lapis the way they write it or yeah, pronounce it that way kue lapis I suggest you to also google it because I don't know how to explain it but the lapis itself is layer it's cookie or 
I cannot say it as cookie because it's kind of different. It's a bit about cake-ish or so. Yeah, you, you just, I just suggest Google it. And this in Dutch is lach. Even though this lach, it means low or shallow. It's not deep. And it's also as layer. And now this one, on the, on the, in two words. You cannot just say it as on the, you have to say it and write it this way with the hyphen in between. When you repeat a word in Indonesian, you put hyphen in between. But in informal or casual, of course, some people might skip it. And when we search by Google, we're kind of skip the hyphen sometimes. On the, on the. This kind of snack is available in Indonesia, in Thailand, in Singapore, in Philippines, in the Philippines, and and also the originally is from China. That's why they have different kind of um, the way they call it. And in Indonesia, and they also have this one in Malaysia. In English, it became, and in Japan too, can you believe it? In Indonesia, the filling or the, the stuff that you put it inside is made out of green beans. How to, it's beans, but small one, but green, but it's not the green leaves or so. Green bean, the small. I will put the correct word for it below in the description box or uh, comment that I will pin. But in Japan, it's more into red paste. In Indonesia, it's a bit savory, a bit sweet, but more into salty-ish or so. Uh, the Japan one is red bean paste that's a bit sweet. Okay. And the original version is from China. This is the way you write it like this and I will try to pronounce it I apologize if it's wrong Chen Tui Chen Tui Chen Tui because in China or in Chinese the J is pronounced as Che Che and the D is pronounced as T Chen Tui Chen Tui okay and now this one, cassava in Indonesian or Bahasa Indonesia, the word that we use often is this one, singkong. Ang. It is the same when you say ringing, singing, swimming, Ang. singkong, singkong, sing, singing, sing without ing and then kong king kong just use the kong sing kong sing kong okay and this one is the formal word for it this one is also formal but we use this one more often than this one katella katella the dutch version of indonesian word katella katella okay and this in english is or in Indonesian is atau. In Dutch, this is the way you write it for or. In daily conversation, I will pronounce it as of of. But the really really correct. But I'm not. This is not perfect. Okay, I I will try the best I can do. When he, it should be. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, but in daily conversation I say off. Yeah, off. But Dutch people say it as oof, oof, oof. Yeah. Okay. And now this one, bakpao. In Indonesian is bakpao, bakpao. Sometimes we pronounce this one with u. 
it becomes bak pau or we don't pronounce the k the k letter it becomes silence bak pau bak pau the original one is also from china in china in chinese or mandarin i keep saying in chinese mandarin or chinese language the letter b is pronounced as p that's why the Beijing it's more into Beijing Beijing and this one Pao Shi I apologize if I pronounce it incorrect or not perfect Pao Shi Pao Shi Pao Shi Pao Shi or Pao Okay And now this one Ketan Ketan, ketan, or sticky rice. In English, two words, and this time in Indonesian, you just have to write it in one word. Ketan. Or sometimes we add the word uh, beras, beras ketan. Because in Indonesian, for cooked rice and uncooked rice, we have different words. For cook one is nasi. That's why you have nasi goreng. The goreng itself is fried. Nasi is cooked rice. But the uncooked or raw rice, raw quotes, rice, it is beras. Beras. That's why I, I said before, this one can also be Beras ketan or ketan. The ketan itself is more into cooked one. And in Dutch, I rarely say this one. This one I say it often. If even though I say it like rice, 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 but the correct one, but I'm not correct. I'm not perfect. That's what I meant. Is Rice, rice. But in daily conversation, I pronounce it as rice, rice. Okay. And this, clay for her, clay for her, clay for her. Okay. And now, wait, I miss something. Oh, this one first. Yeah, it's the same. And this one, sugar in Dutch is sauker. That's the way I pronounce it in daily conversation, sauker. But the quotes perfect because it is not perfect. But it, that's the best I can do to pronounce it as sauker, sauker, sau. Sauker, but in daily conversation, conversation, sauker. Okay. Sauker. This is the Indonesian, in Dutch version. Gula, gula. In Indonesian is gula, 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 gula. The Dutch one, gula. Okay. Why this O and A in Indonesian? It becomes U because in Indonesian years ago, decades ago, we kind of replaced the old version how to read or pronounce the letters. So the the ones that inherited from Dutch, the colonial era which is this one o n a it, it is changed into u the the newer one so this one is not used anymore the old version that we are in, inherited from dutch it is the same with this before long time ago decades ago in my grandparents era because my mom and my dad during their young age, they have to adapt with the new version, the new 
pronunciation for each letter for this one for example because my grandparents kind of still stuck with the old one because I think they're kind of like okay this is the way we, we learn about and it's really lots of stuff that you have to adapt so yeah but my father and my mother generation they already kind of yeah with the new one and of course my generation and the newer one some some people don't know about it but yeah and this the d and j or in english d and g j in indonesia d j it becomes j and this is the old way to write it and it is pronounced as jawa jawa in indonesian jawa jawa or in english java this one in indonesian is not we're kind of rarely say it as Jeffa, Japanese or Jeffa sugar because we pronounce it as red sugar gula and then merah merah is red in Indonesian you the first one is the noun and then after that the adjective it is the other way around in English and also in Dutch but this one is Dutch that absorbed from Indonesian that's why it's this way to the English one is palm sugar that's why sometimes in Dutch it's also palm sauker sauker okay the merah itself in English is red in Dutch is rod or sometimes if you, there is a noun it becomes rod yeah in Indonesia is more into gula merah instead of using this word java okay now we will go here I like to pronounce this one because it makes people think before they answer it's like it's a simple word to just pronounce to just say it but it makes other people think quite longer i just can say darong that simple one word and then it makes people have to think blip 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 blip, blip. and then i just like okay that's why i really like this word darong okay in english is that is why or that's why or therefore oleh karena itu in indonesian darom is more into oh sorry i was mistaken this darom is to explain this is that's why the favorite word word is not darom but you replace the letter the initial d with w it becomes warom warom that's my favorite dutch word because it makes people think i just have to say it. warom that's simple and quick and then people have to think uh, yes i enjoy it so it's not this one but it is warom yeah i will write the word warom below and this one darom is to say because of that or that is why or therefore or in indonesian oleh karena itu three words but sometimes you might skip this one it becomes karena itu oleh is by karena is because itu is that and sometimes so by because that because of that or that is why or sometimes just karena itu because that because and then that okay daro yeah daro yeah my favorite one waro why 
Now I just tell, so whenever I say warung, people might think that I do that. Yeah, I do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And this yeah, this is also the, in Indonesian, the old version that inherited from Dutch, this letter of J is pronounced as Y. But now we use the newer one, so this letter is J, not Y. But the old generation is Y. Long time ago, decades ago, my grandparents' generation. That's why in Indonesian we have Ya, because it is from Dutch Ya, and in English is Yes. But in Indonesian, now if you write this one, it becomes ja. Because the way to write it is ya. In Dutch, you write it this way, but you pronounce it as ya. Ik is I. In Indonesian, saya or aku. But I write saya here because I use this more than aku. The story about I in Indonesian from for the formal one and also the slang one or the informal one I think I've made video out of it I don't know I will just write the link when I found the video about it And now this But I in daily conversation I pronounce it as Sech because yeah, I don't have enough liquid in my throat and I don't have Hermione necklace that make time stop so I can collect my throat to collect the liquid first the yeah. That is hard So the best I can do sometimes sech, sech, okay, that's good enough It's the same with this Geen, geen Because when you have to pronounce the I don't have I don't have compartment, liquid compartment in my throat, you know? And and this one is a song. Of course, when I sing this one, I will not able to pronounce this word as <sighs> because it will make the song stop every time I have to pronounce these kind of words, you know? Why I keep saying you know? Okay, come on. This one in English is say. In Indonesian, this one is the slang, the informal that I keep using which is bilang bilang but the formal one or polite it is this one berkata or mengatakan mengatakan of course the slang or casual or daily conversation Bilang, yeah. Kata is word. It has prefix ber. Berkata, having word or has word. It means tell or say. Berkata, or this one with the prefix me, but because of the initial k, when you add the prefix me, it becomes meng. The letter K it is changed into ang. I've already made a video about this or some videos. I will write the videos link below. And we add the suffix kan. Mengatakan. It has the basic or original or base word kata as word. Kata is word. And then we add the me prefix and then kan suffix mengatakan to say say okay last one yay now in dutch is now 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 okay in indonesian sekarang sekarang the quick one, sekarang. You pronounce it quick. 